Hello and welcome to Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, we are going to talk about how to add audio files into your digital publishing content in InDesign Creative Cloud. We are going to use buttons to be able to interact with the audio file and we will have a look at how to create a nice background music in our content and to be able to pause and resume that music by creating our custom buttons. So first of all, let's start by adding the music into our InDesign uh, document. And for that, I'm going to switch to Bridge. So I just click on Go to Bridge and I go to the files where I have the music and also the icons which I'm going to use to turn on and off the music. So there's my music file, it's an MP3 file and I, once I select it here in Bridge, it already starts playing, you can hear it probably. So that's the music I would like to use and I just simply click and drag to uh, move it into InDesign and I press Command Tab or Alt Tab on PC to quickly switch back to InDesign and I drag and drop and then I click and drag to create a frame for it. Now InDesign creates a transparent frame so it won't show up so we don't necessarily need to see the audio file in InDesign it will, will be hidden actually so if I press W and I deselect the frame it looks like as if there's nothing there really but the audio file will be able to play without having any visual element that represents it. So if I move this frame anywhere in my document, it will still be able to play. I can resize it, make it much smaller as well. And if I go to the media panel, this shows that there is an audio file inside that frame. And I can decide to play the audio automatically on page load, or I can choose to set up buttons to interact with it. But instead of using the media option, I rather go to the folio overlays panel. The media panel is better if you want to create Swift files, but the folio overlays this is the best place to go to if you would like to create content for the iPad or any other mobile devices. So here, whenever you have an audio file selected, you can automatically see all the options available for an audio file. And first of all, that's the probably most interesting one is to choose auto play. So that means it will automatically play as soon as we start up this uh, digital publishing content. We can also choose to have the music playing across the whole folio file, which means whenever we have multiple pages, the music will still keep on playing whenever we turn between those pages. I'm going to just create a one page document for this tutorial, so I don't need that option. I just keep the autoplay selected. We can also set a delay for the music if we want, but let's just have a look at this, how it works now. So I'm going to choose preview and I'm going to choose preview on desktop and that will open the content viewer application or if you have a mobile device connected to your computer, you can also test it directly on uh, the, the device. So there's my content viewer playing the music and at the moment there's nothing really to interact with this music so I'm going to turn it off. So what I need to do now is to add the buttons with which I can interact with the content. So I'm going back again to Bridge and I drag and drop this image file into InDesign. So I just create a frame for it and that size will be fine. So I need to add an action to this. So I just go to the buttons and forms and first of all I turn it into a button. So I choose type, button and then I can add the action which is going to be a sound action. So I choose sound and it immediately finds the only uh, audio file in this page which is this warm lounge mp3 file. So I can choose to play the music or I can choose to use any of these options apart from the stop all which won't work in an iPad document because that only works with Swift files. So I'm going to choose pause. So this will be my button which will pause the music and I can even call this pause. So I can call it pause, that's it. And then I am going to test this again. So let's just have a look at this. We can also use the preview spread option. 
So it plays the music and then if I click on that button it turns it off but there's nothing now to turn it back on so I'm just going to close this and I'm going to go back to bridge and drag and drop the other image in this one and I create a frame which will be the same size as the other one and I'm going again to create another button once again buttons and forms type choose button and I can call this resume because that's what action I'm going to add to it and choose from the actions sound once again automatically finds the only mp3 file on this page and I'm going to choose resume so not play but to continue from where it was uh, stopped or paused so now let's have a look once again I click on preview spread here at the bottom of the buttons and forms panel the music starts playing automatically because that's the way we set it up in the folio overlays panel and then I can click on this icon here on the left to stop it and this one to resume it. Now the way I want to set these two buttons up, and let me just stop this content playing. So the way I want these two put buttons to be set up is that whenever I click on the one which will pause the music, it will automatically hide itself and we will only be able to see the other one to turn it back on. But I also want to make sure the other one doesn't show up until the first one is triggered you will see how it works once it's all set up it sounds a little bit complicated from this point on but just bear with me and you will see exactly how it works so I'm going to select this one here on the left which is my pause button and I'm going to assign another action on top of pausing the music so I'm going to choose actions and I'm going to choose show hide buttons and forms and once that's selected, I can decide whatever I want to do with this button. So I would like to actually show the resume button. So I turn the visibility on for that. But I would like to hide. So I click twice to choose this icon, which means hide the pause button. So it will hide the one on the left once I click on it. And it will show the one on the right. Okay. So let's test this out now. I'm going to do the same thing as before. If I click on this on the left, it will disappear and we will only see the one on the right. And if I click on that, that will continue playing. That's one thing that we set up. But now what we need to do is to also assign an action for this one on the right, because once I click on that, that should show the other icon once again, because we would like to be able to pause the music once more if we want to. So I'm going to select that one and again assign the second action to this as well which again will be show hide buttons and forms so I just choose that and I would like to show the pause button so I choose that and I can hide the resume button if I want to so I'm going to choose that so that's now let's have a look at it again the preview so the music starts playing, I click on the pause icon, then the music stops and I have the other icon here. If I click on that, then the music continues and the second icon will disappear. So now on, I can use these two icons to switch between the two states and to stop and, and pause, uh, or pause or play the music. But that's not exactly the best way to set this up. And now I'm just going to do a very simple um, trick that I'm going to move these two buttons on top of each other and right click on this one, the uh, resume button, and I'm going to arrange and send it to back. Okay, so I hide it behind the first image. The first image, this one, is on top. And what we are going to do with this is to pause the music and show the resume button plus also hide this button so the same thing will happen as before but if we put it behind each other these two buttons then it will make much more sense for the user to interact with them so let's just have a look how it works now if I again preview it we see only one button which obviously means that the audio uh, we can interact with the audio and if I click on it the music stops and now we can see that yes the music is turned off if I click on it once more 
the music will continue and we can see that once again we switch back to the previous button so let's have a look at now before after turn off and continue pause and continue so it's perfectly set up my audio plays just as I want it and I have these two icons which I can use to interact with my uh, document so that's all I wanted to show you about working with audio files in InDesign and if you want to learn how to use video files then make sure you join me next time as well here on Tuts Plus thanks a lot for your attention